That 70s show was one of the most beloved programs of its era. Now people are talking about it once more thanks to the Netflix sequel series, That 90s Show. Much of the main cast has returned to make cameo appearances, which has gotten people especially curious about what they've been up to lately. Join Facts First as we explore That 70s Show's cast then and now, as of 2023. Topher Grace That 70s Show was a series that rose to prominence thanks to its ensemble cast, but it's undeniable that there was one person who was the show's central star, Topher Grace, who played the series' main character, Eric Foreman. The show revolved around Eric's friends and family, with him as the focal point. Like many other performers who rose to fame via the show, Topher returned to That 90s Show to make a cameo appearance in the show's first episode. Topher wasn't a huge celebrity when he was cast. In fact, he was a relative unknown. But his tenure as Eric Foreman ended up drawing enough attention that he was able to make the transition to starring in films. Topher infamously left that 70s show just before its final season so he could open up his schedule and have the opportunity to appear in more films. Still, he was good enough to show up for the series finale. Following his time on the show, he could be seen in several high-profile films. His biggest role is in 2007's Spider-Man 3, where he played Eddie Brock or Venom. Currently, Tom Hardy is now playing this same character in a different movie series. Other films that Topher has appeared in over the course of his career include American Ultra, Valentine's Day, Take Me Home Tonight, and Interstellar. He's also been returning back to the world of TV. He currently stars on ABC sitcom Home Economics. Other recent TV work has included roles in Black Mirror and The Twilight Zone. Laura Prepon when Topher Grace decided to leave that 70s show before its final season, Laura was one of the many performers tasked with picking up the slack. But that doesn't mean she wasn't gearing up for a film career of her own. That 70s show made stars out of many members of the cast, and Laura played the character of Donna Pinciotti, Eric's next-door neighbor turned love interest. Halfway through the series, Laura dyed her hair blonde. Many may not have realized this was actually for a role in a film called Carla. Laura is one of two former That 70s Show stars whose also a member of the Church of Scientology, the other being Danny Masterson. Thankfully, Laura has managed to avoid the controversy that Danny has faced in the years since the show ended. Instead, Laura has been able to maintain a fairly lucrative career. On TV, she's found success thanks to her role on the series Orange is the New Black, one of the biggest Netflix shows in history. Laura recently returned to reprise the role of Donna for a cameo in that 90s show, and she also wrote a book on nutrition a few years back called The Stash Plan. However, most of the actresses were work nowadays seems to be going towards family life. She's been married to actor Ben Foster since 2018. They had a daughter in 2017 and a son in 2020. Ashton Kutcher it's arguable that That 70s Show made no bigger star than Ashton Kutcher. Ashton played Kelso, who had an on-again, off-again relationship with Jackie Burkhart, played by Mila Kunis. On the show, Kelso and Jackie ended up breaking up. Kelso then settled down with a new character played by actress Shannon Elizabeth. In real life, Ashton ended up settling down with Mila Kunis. The two are now married with children, having tied the knot in 2015. They have a daughter named Wyatt and a son named Dimitri. Before settling down to have kids, both Ashton and Mila had incredibly active careers. During his time on That 70s Show, Ashton took up a simultaneous gig as host of the show Punked. He became a breakout star, which led to appearances in films such as What Happens in Vegas and No Strings Attached. More recently, he played real-life figure Steve Jobs in the biographical film Jobs. He's also continued working in TV. After Charlie Sheen was infamously fired from Two and a Half Men, Ashton was hired on to take his place for the last couple seasons. More recently, Ashton appeared along Alongside former That 70s Show cast member Danny Masterson on the Netflix series The Ranch. Sadly, the status of the show was affected due to Danny's aforementioned controversy. Fans of Kelso and Jackie will be pleased to know that both characters made a cameo in That 90s Show. Mila Kunis Mila was only 14 years old when she was cast on That 70s Show, and many were surprised when the teenage performer became one of the show's biggest breakout stars. Mila arguably ranks just below her real-life husband in terms of how much fame she garnered from the iconic series, putting her slightly ahead of former co-stars Topher and Laura. One thing many people might not realize is that she's also the long-standing voice actress of Meg Griffin in the animated sitcom Family Guy. However, Mila's more notable work in the time since that 70s show ended has been in cinema. She's appeared in films like Black Swan, Forgetting Sarah Marshall, Jupiter Ascending, and Bad Moms. In 2022, she appeared in Luckiest Girl Alive. Danny Masterson 
Now it's time to look at the disgraced Danny Masterson. Danny played Hyde on that 70s show, but fans have sadly had to turn their backs on the character thanks to the actor's real-life controversy. In 2017, he was fired from the ranch due to rape allegations. A few years later, these allegations turned into a lawsuit which is still ongoing. It alleges that he raped three women. Not only that, but it alleges that his actions were covered up by the Church of Scientology, to which he's been a member since childhood. A recent trial in 2022 was was declared a mistrial, and his next trial is set for sometime in 2023. Wilmer Valderrama Wilmer Valderrama played Fez on That 70s Show. Around the same time he was starting out, he could be seen in the cult classic indie film Party Monster. Most of his work in the time since that show has continued in the world of television. He's currently starring on NCIS, and he's also had notable roles on shows like Raising Hope and Grey's Anatomy. Wilmer recently made a cameo on That 90s Show and lent his voice to the hit Disney film Encanto. He's engaged to a woman named Amanda Pacheco, and they had their first kid in 2021. Deborah Jo Rupp Before taking on the role of Eric's mother, Kitty, Deborah Jo Rupp was a reliable television performer who could be seen on other classic sitcoms like Friends and Seinfeld. Now, Deborah is one of two performers who's returned to take a main role on That 90s Show, with the other being Kurtwood Smith. Other recent TV programs featuring Deborah include WandaVision. Kurtwood Smith Kurtwood played Kitty's wife, Red. Now he's returned alongside her to reprise his role as one of the main stars of That 90s Show. Before appearing on That 70s Show, he was best known for his role as one of the main villains in the 1980s classic Robocop. Other things he recently has appeared in include the 2022 reboot of the 1980s film Firestarter, the quirky Amazon Prime series Patriot, as well as other TV programs. Now it's time to hear from you. Who's your favorite cast member from that 70s show? And do you think you'll watch that 90s show? Let us know in the comments section below.